And welcome back. This is your man, Warrior. This is another patron roster review. This is Sherlock Holmes 03 with Novos Rebeldos. Uh, Rebeldus and Novos Rebeldus is a really great uh, guild. You're doing really well in fleet. Um, you're completely free to play and you've been playing for a year now. There's kind of a story here. You, you've actually been in the game for two years, but you took a, like a year break and so you came back a year ago. And so for coming back a year ago um, after, you know, fleet, you had a chance to actually kind of stay up in the top and you're doing well. You're in the, you know, basically the top 200 um, when you climb. And, and for arena being gone for an entire year is absolutely crippling and in most situations i would tell people to just start completely over because there's no way they can be competitive when they take a year break but you happen to switch to the team that i'm looking at right now which was kind of per our suggestion which was running to the the emperor palpatine led with um, the the kind of partial triumvirate with um, Scion and Nihilus, and then, of course, Darth Vader to speed things up. You wanted to talk a little bit about ships and things like that. We'll go through ships um, as far as Arena and kind of Zetas, because you wanted to know about that, um, and possible, like, you know, modding, like how do you mod certain characters in Arena, um, and or how, how high do you level characters up, things like that. You told me you're kind of working towards, like I said, this Nightmare team, and you're working towards unlocking CLS, which is crazy that you're just starting to get to that point. But it looks like you got all of the pieces to that puzzle ready to go. So when CLS comes out, you can just snag R2D2 to seven stars and get your CLS. As far as your regular arena, really quick, we'll go over regular arena. Your Emperor Palpatine is great. One thing I note is you wanted to know about Zetas, and you currently don't have any Omegas on his abilities, really, except for his basic and you don't have his Zeta on his leadership, you also have no mods on him. I'm guessing that's because you're waiting to know how to mod him. I would, if you have offense mods unlocked, I would worry about getting offense mods on him because he's a damage dealer, but you're not going to get him to crit more than likely. So offense mod set, and then you could do a health set um, the health set would just help with his overall durability. Um, and then I would put a speed arrow on him and then whatever other mods you can get that have speed secondaries and probably protection secondaries on the bottom circle and plus, but definitely want to do like an offense set if you can. If you can't access offense mods yet in your mod connection, you can really mod these guys however you see fit with whatever sets. The mod sets are less important than what you're putting in each slot. And the arrow slot should always be a speed arrow when possible. The triangle should be for someone that does special damage, such as Emperor Palpatine, should probably be offense. For anybody else who does physical damage, you'll probably want to put critical damage or critical chance based on whether they have a high crit chance rate, put critical damage. And if they have a low crit chance rate, put crit chance in there. And then for the plus and the circle, it's always safe to put uh, protection on the circle and either protection on the plus or you could go health or whatever else you have as long as it has some speed secondaries you're really looking for speed secondaries on that but that is going to be and i know you're switching to this team so a lot of this isn't developed or fleshed out yet which the good news is you're basically 900th so it's not a big deal but you're going to want to make darth vader extremely fast he's going to you're going to want darth vader to be the fastest of all the characters you have so you're going to have to scour all your mods and find all your very 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 best secondary speed mods and put them on him you don't have to do his zetas but you do want to max out uh, to the top other than the zeta his no escape and put the omegas on his terrifying swing and force crush and then of course you're going to want to make the next fastest character thrawn so you're going to you you're going to mod for speed speed set if possible on Darth Vader and the same thing speed set if possible on Grand Admiral Thrawn both of them will have speed arrows and then the other three abilities can really be you know health or protection but they you know for the triangle plus and circle but they need speed secondaries as best as possible and then for the last two on the bottom which is Scion and Darth Nihilus Scion you can either do offense 
um, sets if you have access to it, or you could just do defense sets or, or, or health sets. Um, the set, again, doesn't matter as much, but you just want to make him very, very tanky. So give him a speed arrow, but then the rest, like the triangle, the plus, and the circle, make those all protection on Scion so he becomes durable. And I noticed that you have him basically maxed out other than his Zeta. Eventually, his Zeta would be worth adding, so that's something to consider once you add Emperor Palpatine Zeta on his leadership, you could then move to Scion and Nihilus and their Zeta abilities. Um, you're going to want to obviously for him as well, focus on Drain Force Omega, Annihilate Omega, and eventually down the road, you'll want to do Lord of Hunger Zeta. And then the same is true for modding. You're going to want, um, you know, health mods or defense mods um, or speed mods, whatever you have access to the mod set, less important, but what goes in each slot, more important. The arrow, you're going to want a speed arrow um, in that slot. And then in the triangle, you can either do offense because he does special damage or you can go protection and then you could go protection in the circle and in the plus and that's basically how I would mod those characters it's real important to make sure that you fill in those mods um, with all of the characters with the absolute five you know best mods five to six best mods you have in the in, in e on each character with five characters times six that's about 30 mods you're gonna have to really scour for the absolute best speed secondary uh, mods, 25 best speed secondary mods, and then five speed arrows. So that way you have a total of 30 mods to go on these characters. And like I said, the, the sets are less important. It's really about the actual slots. Uh, for special damage, um, Darth Nihilus, Emperor Palpatine, and Thrawn all do special damage. So they would really benefit from doing an offense triangle. And then for circles and pluses, you can do protection for everybody. And then for Darth Vader, you could go, um, you know, critical damage on the triangle, but make sure you get him to be the fastest character you have with Thrawn being right behind him. So that's your arena. Let's go ahead and move over to ships. And for ships, you, you've actually got, you know, Phoenix, because you really followed my kind of my um, my free to play guide and stuff and you and you got um, a lot of the uh, Phoenix team up and so you now you got the Phoenix ships up and so uh, we want to we want to explore that a little but when looking at your ships and I'm looking at what little bit you do have I'm going you know what I see is a lot of rebels I don't see a lot of anything else and so because of that I would actually go Admiral Akbar and when I look at the Executrix and Home One, they're actually both four stars. And so it's not going to hurt you any to go down with the exception that you're going to need the prestige to be able to level these abilities up because currently all the abilities on Home One are at level one. But Home One for you is going to absolutely be the absolute best capital ship for you where you're at, but you're going to have to invest prestige into his abilities, and then you're going to have to gear Admiral Akbar up so that way you can max his, his capital ship out. And then as far as the backup ships, um, or let's go first, let's go to the front level. So you got Admiral Akbar, and then I would actually use a double tank in the front. I would use your Sunfac in the front to make people chew through that tank. And I would also use your bigs as another tank. So now you've got two tanks up front taunting and um, causing mayhem with the Imperial TIE Fighter who kind of dodges a little still. And so the Imperial TIE Fighter is gonna be the ship that's gonna cause mayhem. So you're gonna have two tanks and the Imperial TIE Fighter. So basically in that second row, those three ships, the Sunfec, Imperial TIE Fighter, and Biggs in your front five. That's going to cause people to sit there and chew and chew and chew on those tanks before they can actually kill anything up. Then in your back three slots, you're actually going to have the Phantom Two. Now, this is a ship that's really good for you, and that's why you're using it in your front three but this one happens to have Covert Strike, which is a reinforcement ability, and I would max this reinforcement ability completely out. It does require 100 reinforcement mats to max out, 25 for level two and 75 for level three, so you need 100 reinforcement mats, but this, if you have it, will allow you to pull two ships out back to back, so you pull the Phantom Two out, and then you'll have Ghost as your next one coming in immediately thereafter. And so you'll have 
you'll be able to flood the field with these rebel ships. And with Admiral Akbar, the rebel ships um, have a lot of bonuses. And so definitely the two ships that you like in your front lineup would be excellent. Just put them in your first and second slot in your backup. And then I noticed for all of your ships, your most powerful ship basically is TIE Silencer. And so I would definitely work on and focus on getting the TIE Silencer up. Much like Sunfac, who I recommended, this ship also stuns the opposing ship provided they have more than 50% turn meter. And so you're going to have multiple ships that stun, which is going to help give you um, additional advantages when you're fighting in arena. So that's the lineup. Admiral Akbar with the two tanks, Sunfak and Biggs, and the Imperial TIE Fighter, and then in the backup, um, Phantom Two Ghost and TIE Silencer. So those six ships in the top two rows with Admiral Akbar, and I think you're gonna see really, really good results um, because of it. Uh, so definitely wanna focus on that. Now you did ask about leveling characters up, like how far should I take a character before I give up on a character and move on? And my suggestion to you is when you're focused on a character, gear eight or gear nine. Gear eight if it's for an event, gear nine if it's, if it's just any other character that you're trying to max out for other areas of the game. Because you're completely free to play, um, it's important that you get them to a point and move on. The only characters I would recommend you ignore that on is going to be your arena team and or characters who are considered overpowered. And when I say that, I mean all of the characters that are important, such as General Kenobi. So if we look at your General Kenobi, he's one that you would take as far up as you can. Just continue to leave him in your favorites and continue to drop gear in him. Now, I know you're in a decent guild now. You had recently moved to a new guild, but always know that if you feel like you're not developing fast enough, that you could always go into another guild. Now, for right now, because of where you're at with only a half a million GP, I would recommend you staying put and your guild is unlocking General Kenobi and Han solo for you so right now they're doing you a favor uh, not the other way around and so, so i would stay put for now but once you get a little further in the game if you feel like you get to a point where you've developed teams where you can you know grow then that might be something to consider but general kenobi is one of those characters you just need to get completely maxed out as high as possible because he's one of the most overpowered characters in the game another character that falls into that line is han solo you're going to definitely want to continue to develop han solo he's one of the best rebels in the game of course grand admiral thrawn gear 10 uh six star you're definitely going to want to continue to develop and max Grand Admiral Thrawn out. Again, he's one of the best in the game, as well as your Darth Sion, I see in the middle of the row, and Darth Nihilus in the middle row. Both of them are extremely overpowered characters. They work really well like a Chirrut in the Bays or a um, Wedge and Biggs. They're just phenomenal, so continue to develop those two. And then, of course, when I said Biggs, I actually mean your Biggs as well. Biggs is because you're going to be using him as the primary tank in ships. You're going to want to continue to develop him, put five dot mods on him, and get his abilities maxed out on the left and then continue to gear him. I know he's only gear seven, so take him up to at least gear nine, but preferably keep taking him. He's one of those exceptions that you'll take past gear level eight or nine and try to get him up to gear 10 or 11 if possible. And then there's some other characters as well that's in here, like your R2-D2 and Wampa are side by side. R2-D2 and Wampa are both very amazing characters in this game. They're gonna help you all over, so I would definitely focus on both of them. And then characters such as Admiral Akbar. Now I know that your Admiral Akbar is really not very high at all, but if you start to use this capital ship, you will have to start to develop him. And like I said, I know you're in a weird situation. You started two years ago and then you took a whole entire year off and then came back and have only played for like a little under a year. Um, and you've played just intermittently. So because of that, your development is only, you know, around 550,000 
uh, GP, which for a year, most people get around a million GP. So you're definitely kind of stunted in the amount of GP you have, but try and get your characters to gear eight. And then the characters I mentioned, like General Kenobi, Han Solo, Thrawn, Darth Nihilus, Darth Sion, Biggs, Wampa, R2-D2, Admiral Akbar. get all of them to gear 10 or gear 11 if possible, but preferably at least gear 10. You can see gear 10 for you as kind of a ceiling, meaning it's the top. It's really hard to get there, but once you get there, um, you can kind of move on to another character. And those really important characters are going to help. You can build entire teams around these specific characters. Like you can build an entire team around Wampa. But I don't want to give you too much to work on because you are free to play. I've already talked about a lot of ships like the Silencer and Biggs and Sunfax ship and the Imperial TIE Fighter. You got to work on those. You got to get their abilities up. You got Admiral Akbar's capital ship to work on. And you've got a number of characters you need to kind of focus on um, like General Kenobi, Han, Thrawn, Darth Nihilus, Sion. And that remember your Zetas. The Zetas that would be really good to focus focus on is your arena team which would be first emperor palpatine lead and then the next couple of zetas i would probably consider consider seriously would be darth nihilus unique and darth sion unique with darth sion unique being more important and then darth nihilus unique being less important both of those though will really help you in your climb and you do have the characters now to do well I really think your biggest challenge is going to be mods with the amount of time you were out. You did not collect hardly any good mods. So you're going to have to spend a ton of time in the mod store after a credit heist. Once you get paid out on your credit heist, look for gold mods that have a five or a six speed secondary and purchase those when you get those and then roll them up and hopefully you'll start to pick up some 10s and 15s and that will help you with your arena team. You're just not going to be able to climb into the top 500 on a two-year-old shard without, you know, plus 10, plus 15 speed on every slot for every mod on every character in your arena team. But with focus you will be able to do it. So mods need to become hyper important. So Sherlock Holmes, you're looking like you're doing really well uh, for you know all things considering being completely free to play. I think you're doing actually really well. The biggest thing is to have fun. Make sure you're still having fun with this game. That's what's most important. As always, if you have any thoughts or questions, just hit me up on Discord like you do and I'll answer them. If anybody else has ideas, leave them in the comments down below and keep your gaming on Warrior out.